This is the Republican presidential debate in the Reagan presidential library. Saying anything bad about Ronald Reagan here is considered blasphemy. They have to display that ability, not the ability to read some script. The media wrote. sent the best and the brightest to cover this debate, from MSNBC to Breitbart to every other possible channel, including the Des Moines, Iowa. And just to give you an idea of how much media attention this is getting, there are more than 800 media members credentialed for this event. That's more than attended Ronald Reagan's funeral. I want to give you a look behind us. Ronald Reagan came up with the slogan, let's make America great again. Then Trump, who famously hated Reagan and published many ads against him in the New York Times, stole this slogan and just cut the let's, which is now make America great again, and he even copyrighted it illegally. So let's make America great again. Reagan came up with it. Trump took it and he wants to copyright the let's make America great again. Now Trump made it make America great again. He cut the let's and he wants to copyright it as a Trump slogan. Yeah. And then he really trashed Reagan at the time. You think he can actually copyright the phrase? You can do what you want in this country. Can you? So you're the only Trump supporter in a sea of Mexican and Hispanics and legal immigrants here, all just Hispanic people. Well, that's fine. I am proud to be here. So somebody's got to be supporting Trump yeah. am amid the sea of illegal people. Mm -hmm. Denounce what does he mean? Denounce the, the head? Denounce the hate in the GOP debate. Yeah, nice. But Trump is really sure he's going to win the Hispanic vote. No, he's not. Mm. I mean, he has called the rapist and criminal, and that is not who we are. Yeah. I do not consider myself a criminal nor a rapist. So by discriminating us, by saying all these words of hate, he is not going to win the Hispanic vote. Trump did make his current wife a naturalized citizen really quick. Like for regular people, it takes years. Well, didn't he marry her? He married, but it only took one year for her after he, they got but married. But once you're married, you're, mm -hmm. once you marry an American citizen, Maybe you're pretty much naturalized. That we should marry all the illegals. That's the solution. So we should all go out and marry an illegal? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. Trump's Question. wife, first lady. What was that? Trump's wife, the Slovenian lovely lady. Uh -huh. can, can you imagine that as first lady or Kim Kardashian? I can imagine Trump's wife as first lady. Yeah, a classy first lady. Yeah, she's a classy woman. But the White House could end up like a casino. Prostitutes, like people coming in and out. Dude, what are you talking about? It's a Trump yeah. House. Right <laughs> Some of the Republican candidates even suggested building a canal in the Mexican border with crocodiles. Yes, well, I don't think you can make that happen. I don't think he can make that happen. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, no. Because it's, it's like... That would be bad. Actually, the seriously well, talking about it. First of, all, you can't, first of all, crocodiles could not survive, you know, the, you know so in the this heat. climate, yeah. Why don't you have a Bernie Sanders t-shirt on you? Well, I haven't, I haven't, haven't married myself to any of the Democratic candidates right mm -hmm. now. I, yeah. uh, I'm still waiting. But you do support redistribution of wealth. Well, I wouldn't say that. Mm. The sign says Rick Santorum, and he's the one speaking here in the spin room. He just left the debate, the loser's debate, that no one cares about. And it's really sad, he's a nice guy, but no one really wants to hear what he has to say, except he's a journalist, but they're just bored. So you, and he said I was you're a climate, trouble, was yeah. so you're, a, you're a climate denier and a poverty denier. Is that A poverty the, denier? Yeah. Do you haven't looked at my record. Do you know deny poverty? Yeah. Trump is on his way here after the debate, coming up in part two. This is part two of my report of the Republican presidential debate. It's all kicking off right now. All the journalists are kept in a cage. They're not allowed to go to the actual debate area, and they have to breathe the really hot air in the Simi Valley area. They're trying to make Ronald Reagan a saint because they love him so much, and saying anything against him is blasphemy. Also, I'm going to say I'm related to Reagan to get into the restricted area. They ushered Donald Trump into a secret room on the back of the stage. We're trying to find it. Was it boring for you watching the whole hour this and thing? a half? Oh, no, yeah. no. Here? Yeah. Oh, no. No, I thought it was pretty interesting. Was it? Sorry. Can I smoke right. as you well, walk? Hold on. I'm going to yeah. head over and you talk. Okay, walk with authority, Rick. I like the pin. Very nice. Thank you. It's a sheriff you symbol walk. on the pin. There is no illegal immigration issue. I mean, as many illegals, but not as many as Trump and Jeb Bush say. What would you say to that? 
we absolutely have an immigration problem in this country, in this state, and certainly in this country. You're so encouraging to CNN reporters. What's that? You're so encouraging to CNN reporters. I used to work with her really? at Fox. Yeah, really? she's a dear friend. So uh, tonight we have uh, Carly Ferrerosa, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Trump, uh, Rubio, Bush, uh, who am I miss? Uh, Dr. Ben Carson, I like him. Carson, number two. Yeah, number two. No, we're just going to go. Is there a stage? Hey, no. Yeah, this was a great experience. It was a long time, but this was a great experience, and I really, I would not have missed it for anything. And the polls are going well. Everything's going well. We're having fun. We're going to make America great. Is your wife used to be an illegal immigrant or not? Substance, or is it all personal? Oh, I thought it was a lot of substance tonight. I thought the questions were good. I thought Jake and the team were excellent. Yeah. Is this the Danish flag? No, no this is this American flag. It's our logo. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think? Do you think Iran or North Korea? What Donald Trump revealed to NBC4 right what after the there? GOP showdown. Let me stand up. Hi, one question. Uh, hi. So the, hi, the Bashar Bashir, do you feel bad of calling Bashar Assad Bashir Assad? Is that an issue? No. He's a dictator. He's a killer. Yeah. He's a ruthless thug. I don't care if I get his name wrong. Mm -hmm. What about comparing um, Planned Parenthood to ISIS? This was the Bible debate. Oh, yeah, okay. He knows. You've been around for someone around, from yeah. over overseas. And the best thing them. is to walk backwards. Right. If you walk backwards, they can't even see that you follow them because they think you're just walking in while they walk out. I gotta learn a thing or two. Are you listening to this? Get, get, get some of this. Can you see the hat? I can see it. Is it signed by Trump? Signed by the boss. Wow. So you're actually employed by Trump? I was employed for seven years. And you yeah. got fired? Uh, I, I guess something like that. It's yeah. I know to be fired by Trump. I was fired twice, actually. Really? By him. Yeah. You got trumped up on twice. television and then. Oh, so yeah. you're in The Apprentice. Yes. And then Trump actually hired you for his company. Yeah. I worked for him for seven years. That's big. Yeah. You're going to help build the so wall. So I know the, I'm going to build the wall. And we're going to put advertising on it. Yeah. Would you say you're giving brain surgery a bad name because science and religion never go together? Uh, I don't believe that science and religion don't go together. Like, how come, like, half the scientists I know are religious? It's so unreasonable. Like, and you're a brain surgeon. Was there too oh, no, I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. What do you, what do you say about religion and science? Can I ask one question? Was there too much personal? The person saying you know as much as anyone. The person says last in the spin room is the biggest loser, usually. And this is you now. Well, only because you're keeping me from leaving. Okay. <laughs> you and Scott Walker. You'll be. All right. Well, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna leave and make sure he's the last one. It's really embarrassing to stay long. <laughs>